In the Hollister School within California's Navigator Charter School Network, which also has a school in Gilroy, California, students have two primary teachers who teach them either language arts and social studies or math and science. Navigator focuses on small group instruction as the best way to personalize instruction and improve students' academic outcomes quickly. Small group instruction is definitely the most powerful because you get that one-on-one -on -one time and that is really where I can tailor my instruction to those needs, whether it's challenging them with material that's well above grade level or supporting those students who are below. So that is the biggest, most important piece of our day. In a typical day, 30 students first spend 90 minutes with one teacher, during which they are getting direct instruction, working independently, or working with partners. Then they go to small group centers where they rotate among stations according to their learning needs in groups of 10 for 30 minutes apiece. A small group instructor leads one group in a lesson the teacher prepared, while the teacher, or a teacher in training, leads another group. The third group works independently, usually online. This schedule repeats in the afternoon with the other teacher, with time interspersed for enrichment courses, such as art, music, and sports. I love them moving around that frequently. I think it's wonderful for a teacher. I think it's wonderful for the kids because it keeps them up, it keeps them active, it keeps them moving, and the content changes. So that's how we keep the engagement. Students also set goals with their teachers and track their progress. Part of our school culture is knowing and understanding the benchmarks and where they need to be really every single week. The teachers start by being very explicit about where students uh, need to be and encouraging the students to get to that goal. Technology enables teachers to break a class of 30 into groups of 10 for more personalized instruction. Students generally spend no more than an hour a day online on programs that let them work at their own pace. The teachers also make extensive use of the student data the programs provide. Student technology is important for differentiation because teachers can leverage that in a way to where they know when the students are not with them in the small group, that they can feel confident that some of those gaps are being filled, or conversely, that students are being pushed into a higher level because that program is constantly taking data, analyzing that data, figuring out how far they can push them on, and doing that that adaptivity is getting better each year. I like the teachers because they're super nice and you take this test so then you can read at your level and you can be challenged. And when you're challenged, you get smarter. The school puts a strong emphasis on social emotional skills and preparing for college as well. We instill in these kids they are going to college because many of them come from backgrounds where that's not an option, it's not something that's talked about, and we want to make these kids aware that no matter who you are, you all can go to college. Where do you want to go to college? I either Yale University or Stanford because Stanford, it has some of the most advanced medical information in the world, or Yale University because I really like Greek mythology.